What about a volcano, Renee? What about a volcano? I did that last year. A potato clock? <gasps> a potato clock? That's the oldest science project in the book. No, too simple, too boring. Speaking of simple and boring... You got our homework done? And two of them, right? So we each get a copy. <laughs> I bet I get a higher mark than you guys. Do not. Do too. <laughs> Do not. What are you looking at, Jacob 24? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> you guys hear an echo? <laughs> I am not surprised. Since echoes happen in big, empty spaces. What's that supposed to mean? Then again, it's a wonder you can hear anything, since sound does not travel in a vacuum. Oh, yeah? Well, you better just watch it, 2-4. Yeah, <laughs> watch it! Watch what? As you all know, the marks for this project will make up 40% of your overall grade. Now, since this is such an important assignment, each of you will be working with science buddies. Ah, oh, what are science buddies, you ask? Good question. Students from the higher grades, who will be your mentors, offering you help, guidance, and support. Cool. We're getting marked on this science project, too. So you better make it a good one. Science buddy! Or else! My science buddies are supposed to give me help, guidance, and support. All they've given me so far is a noogie, a wedgie, and a headache. I'll be doing all the work for them. It's not fair. It's not fair. Whoever said life was fair, kiddo? Now, back when I was a kid, we had to... Maybe you can find a way to get the older boys interested in science. In science? I don't think so. We don't get to dissect stuff until high school. Well, I'm sure you'll think of something, dear. See? You make an electromagnet by wrapping wire around a bar of metal. <coughs> then you run electricity from the battery through the wire. No! I think I got sewed up my nose. We can show how someone can lift many times their own weight by using a lever. It's a simple tool based on a rudimentary scientific principle. Bet I can lift him higher than you. Cannot! Can too! How's your science project going, Renee? You will have to ask my science buddy. What's he working on? 
how to build a space shuttle? He doesn't tell me anything. I am thinking he sees it as his science project. I am just a passenger along for the ride. Well, I have three along for the ride. Only they keep grabbing the steering wheel, and we end up in the ditch. Better to be in the ditch than in the dark. Dark ages is more like it. They think Duchesne putting both fists in his mouth is an awesome science project. That's it! Even they could mess this one up. It's called capillary action. Capillary action. By adding blue color to the water, we'll be able to show how plants like celery suck water up their stems to their leaves using... Bear with peanut butter. What? Hey, look at the shade! Awesome! I'm finished, Renee. I'm finished. You're finished your project? No, I'm finished with Wilson, Quigley, and Duchesne. They destroy everything I come up with. I'm through. So what are you going to do? Nothing. I'm not handing in a science project. But, Jake, you must. The project is worth 40% of our final mark. If you do not hand one in, you will fail. And you know what that will mean. Summer school! While the rest of the world is out there, sleeping in, watching TV, having a summer, I'll be cooped up inside a classroom, day after day after day, with Wilson, Quigley, and Duchesne! <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's a seismograph. Seismograph. I thought we told you to make our project a good one, two, four. Yeah, that's not half as good as Deshane's idea. Look, I worked all night on this. Okay, so it's not Galileo's telescope, but it will get us a passing grade. What's a seismograph thingy anyhow? <laughs> it's Latin for whoopee cushion! Cool! Ah! That is it! That is definitely it! So, it wasn't a whoopee cushion? No! It's a science project! At least it was a science project! Now it's a pancake! It's useless! Just like you three! Whoa! That's harsh, too far. Yeah! Harsh. We're sorry, okay? We can't help it if we're stupid. Yeah, dumb even. Yeah, dim bulbs. But at least we're sorry, dim bulbs. <sighs> Look, I'm the one who's sorry. And you guys are not stupid. R2! Are not. R2! No, you can do this. You just have to really want to do it. We can? No kidding? No kidding. But the only way it's going to work is if you do exactly what I say. Aye, aye, sire. Captain! Sir! Okay, we have three days. What we need is something easy, nothing fancy, something quick, something... Simple! Potato, Potato clock. clock? It's the oldest science project in the book, but definitely doable. It's doable! <laughs> Who would have thought you could grow a potato that tells time? <laughs> cool. My Uncle Bud has a farm. Great. Duchesne gets the potatoes, Quigley gets the wire, and Wilson gets the clock. And you're going to get the batteries, right? Don't worry about that. What's important is we can do this. We can do it! Bet we can. Yeah. Do what? Well, is this enough wire? Um, actually, we only need about this much. I mean, good work, Quigley. Good work. Uh, I got us a, a clock. 
It's huge, Wilson. It's huge. Yeah, it was on the sidewalk. I hauled it all the way over from Benny's place. They were pitching it out. Can you believe it? <coughs> Told you my Uncle Bud has a farm. I don't know, guys. A potato clock is, well, usually kind of smaller. A lot smaller. But then again, this would be a potato clock like no one has ever seen before. Cool! Yeah! yeah. Cool! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> now all we need are the batteries. No batteries. It's the energy from the potatoes that make the clock tick. Cool! cool. All right, let's get to work. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato! Six potato, uh... Seven potato? Seven potato! More! All I had to do was show them who's boss. You are the boss of three Neanderthals? And the potato clock? This won't be just any potato clock, Renee. And the guys are really pitching in. We? Oui. it seems you are out of the ditch, Jake. But I am still in the dark. You just have to take charge. Watch. Okay, enough with the top secret stuff. Renee wants to know what her science project is, now. Uh, I think he's going to get back to you on that. Well, whatever it is, I am sure it isn't a potato clock. Whoa! If this doesn't blow the snot out your ear, nothing will. This must be what it feels like to walk on the moon. <gasps> we have achieved the impossible. We have done a science project. <laughs> it's... it's beautiful. I've never seen one glow before. And we owe it all to Jacob Tufor. Yeah, thanks Tufor. <laughs> they call me Jacob Two Two. <laughs> Jacob Two Two. Who does? We'll teach him not to make fun of our little science, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Morning, Mom. Great day, isn't it? Well, it sounds like your science project has taken a turn for the better. Better than better. It's finished. And it's a beauty. A definite A+. Plus. An A+. Plus. Strange. The radio was working fine yesterday. Speaking of strange, look at the radish I dug out of the garden this morning. We better make some room in the fridge. Did you change the fridge light? I think you used the wrong bulb. I haven't touched it. Must be some kind of power surge. The clock! Ah! We named it Spuds. Spuds? Not again. Did I tell you my uncle? I know, I know, your Uncle Bud has a farm. Hey! We were up all night plugging him in! Yeah, we're making a clock like no one has ever seen before! Right? Right! right. But it's too powerful! Strange things are happening! Power surges and giant radishes! Giant radishes! Cool! I wonder what'll happen when we hook up all these. No, you can't! Can do! Spuds is gonna show everybody we're not stupid. Yeah, not dumb even. We're gonna make the biggest potato clock ever! One, One potato, two potato, three potato, four! Five potato, six potato, seven potato, more! 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 <laughs> I've created a monster! 
that's it? That's what he was doing all this time? You did a volcano model last year. That is what I tried to tell my science buddy. And he said, this is not like any volcano model ever seen. I hope this is the last I ever see of science buddies. Tell me about it. Duchesne's Uncle Bud has a farm, a potato farm. They won't stop. They won't stop. They keep adding more and more potatoes. More and more and more. Relax. Our projects are due tomorrow. And they're in school all day today. How much bigger can they make it? You're right. We? Oui? All I have to do is bolt and lock the basement windows and doors tonight. That'll hold them off until we hand it in tomorrow. Whew! Is that ever a load off my mind? You. Hey, Jacob. <laughs> Good morning, boys and girls. <laughs> Are you okay, Jake? <sighs> <sighs> Uncle Bud? Again? What's he doing with all those potatoes? The guys are at school. They're at school. Or are they? What? They called in sick today? Ah! We may already be too late. I have to dismantle that clock, even though it means I won't have a project to hand in. Which means I'll get a zero. Which means I'll be going to summer school with Wilson quickly and do shame. Which means they'll probably dismantle me. I started all this, I have to finish it. Spuds must die. Ah! Jake, what is it? It's gone. They've moved it. But why would they do that? Because my basement was too small. They're making it bigger, Renee. A lot bigger. We interrupt this program with this important bulletin. Scientists across Canada and around the world are working feverishly to find the cause of a mysterious power surge that has the entire city of Montreal in a state of panic. Some fear this unknown force is powerful enough to disrupt the Earth's magnetic field and knock the world off its orbit. We now return to more golden oldies from the top of the Canadian pop charts. We have to find it. We have to find spots. This is all your fault. You made us do it. Yeah, are you ever in trouble? Where's the clock? We handed it in. It's due tomorrow. That really is a potato clock like I have never seen before. Spuds is huge, indestructible, not to mention a definite A++. But it is going to destroy the world, Jake. What are we going to do? We have to shut it down. But how? We have no time. It will take us forever to dismantle it. I've got it. I hope. We'll just short it out. Short it out? Yes. 
It's the same way Wilson, Quigley, and Duchesne shorted out our electromagnet. Are you sure it will work? Of course. But then again, it could blow up the entire school and half of Montreal with it. Ah! Well, at least there will be half of Montreal. French fries? Mashed. And then you just add a jumbo grape slusho and kaboom! You got your giant volcano! Yeah! Kaboom! Did I tell you my Uncle Bud has a, a farm? Yes, yes. So we've all heard several times. Well, I must say this was a very ambitious science project. A plus, plus, plus to your entire group. All right, buddies. Yeah, that's wicked. Awesome. Everything worked out after all. We got a great mark, so I don't have to worry about summer school anymore. And the best part is... No more volcanoes? No more science buddies. But I can eat more mashed potatoes than you can. Cannot! Can do! Cannot! I'm so tired of potato soup and potato burgers. Don't even mention the potato drink. So what are we going to do for a geography project? We're not doing anything. Why not? Sour Pickle was so impressed by how well the science projects worked out, she has decided to try Geography Buddies. Don't sweat it, Geography Buddy. We owe you one. Yeah, so we're gonna do all the work on this one. I already know the capital of Paris. P. Bet I can spell Yugoslovakia. Cannot. Can too. Cannot. 